Hello and welcome to this video presentation from the One Stop Sat Shop and buymystuff.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at this HYC02A handheld infrared remote control tester. This useful device allows anyone to test infrared remote controls and in fact any other device which emits infrared. If you work with remote controls, for instance in a repair workshop or perhaps in a retail store, it's very useful to have a device like this because you can determine immediately whether or not a remote control is actually transmitting any information. I'll show you how it works. It's really very, very simple. This is the device, this small silver box. It looks just like a remote control actually, except it doesn't have any buttons. First thing we do is insert two AA batteries into the uh, rear of the, the unit, put the lid back on and then at the front we have a power switch and a buzzer switch. We put the power to the on position you can see that the power indicator comes on. If we then take um, a standard infrared remote control, I have this uh, GVC remote control which I know works and press any button you can see that the infrared detector is, is lighting up. Additionally if we put the buzzer switch to the on position the same result is achieved when you press a button except that the device makes an audible tone so that can be more useful than just looking at the front of the unit to see if the light is coming on. Now although we're using this device at the moment to test an infrared remote control it does have quite a number of other uses. There are many devices which emit infrared these days. Um, mobile phones for example. Some, some phones have infrared emitters built into them for remote control applications. Also infrared lighting used in security um, is also something that can be tested using this device. Uh, infrared uh, night vision cameras are very popular. You may have noticed infrared transmitters around about the lens. Well you can simply point this device uh, in the general direction of the camera and it will let you know if the infrared emitters are working. Unlike other infrared remote control testers it, this is not a close proximity tester. Although I've got this remote control quite close here, maybe just 10 centimeters or so, we have actually tested it and it actually has a range of around about 20 meters which is extremely useful so it can also be used to determine uh, if the remote control has, for instance, a low power transmission uh, which can give a poor range symptom. Sometimes when the TV remote control fails, uh, you find that it only works a few meters away from the television. Uh, this device will allow you to determine if that is the case or not simply by walking further and further away with the remote control uh, to see when the transmission stops. Typically the range of a general infrared remote control like this would be in the region of about you know 10 to 20 meters it, it does vary but this device will very quickly let you know uh, if it's faulty or not we have tested this uh, unit um, you know in test conditions and it has worked up to 20 meters similarly testing anything that transmits infrared as long as you're within 20 meters range just point it at the device and you should get some kind of response obviously if the infrared uh, transmission power is quite low you may have to hold it very close but as I said it's not a close proximity tester. Most remote control testers require the remote control to be held right up against it in order to determine if it works. This, ma this machine does not work in that manner. So hopefully if you decide to purchase this you'll find it uh, very useful. We certainly find it very useful uh, for testing remote controls in our own TV repair workshop. Okay, so thank you for watching this video presentation from the One Stop Sat Shop and buymystuff.co.uk